Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to discuss the vacancies, eligibility criteria, exam pattern, previous years cutoffs and syllabus of SEBI grade A 2023 exam, right? So let's start the session with vacancies and notification dates. So students in the year 2018, there were 84 vacancies. So in 2020, 80 and in 2022, 80 vacancies were there. So as you can see, there are roughly, you know, 80 vacancies, you can expect 80 to 90 vacancies in 2023 as well, right? And you can expect the notification in the first quarter of 2023. As per our information, we can expect the notification in first uh, quarter of 2023 we can expect the notification in first quarter of 2023 and the exam can be held in the first quarter itself first quarter of 2023 and second phase uh, can also be held in the month of march or april of 2023 so these are the expectations regarding the notification right so there are three phases Phase one and phase two, these are online exams and phase two, it's an interview, right? So in the phase one, there are two papers of 100 marks, two papers of 100 marks. And in the paper one, it's an MCQ based paper, right? Both are MCQ based papers, paper one and paper two. In the paper one, there is general awareness. We will discuss the syllabus in the next slides. So general uh, awareness is there, English language, quantitative aptitude and reasoning ability is there. General awareness section, special attention, special focus is given to the financial sector, right? So 100 marks, 60 minutes are allotted and cutoff is 30%, right? No relative cutoff. If you are able to score 30% in paper one and 40% in paper two, you'll be able to appear for phase two, right? In the paper two for the general stream. So today we are going to discuss only general stream, right? We are not going to discuss legal or research today. For the general stream, there is an MCQ based paper and the subjects are commerce, accountancy, management, finance, costing, companies act and economics. We are going to discuss the syllabus in the next slides. 100 marks, 40 minutes and 40% is the cutoff, right? So negative marking is there. One fourth is the negative marking. One fourth is the negative marking. 30% cutoff in the paper one, 40% in paper two, right? And the candidates, they need to secure separate cutoff of paper one and paper two. So you need to score 30% in paper one and 40% in paper two and aggregate 40%, right? So in the phase two, the syllabus is almost same. Uh, for this paper, uh, the general stream MCQs are there, Commerce, Accountancy, Management, Finance, Costing, Companies Act and Economics. The syllabus is almost same, but there is a descriptive paper of English, right? To test the drafting skills of the candidates, right? 100 marks each in paper, uh, in paper one, paper two, 60 minutes are allotted, uh, 60, minute, uh, 60 minutes are allotted for the English descriptive paper and 40 minutes for the general stream paper too. Okay. So cutoff 30% cutoff is there for the English descriptive paper and 40% cutoff is there for the general stream, uh, you know, professional paper, right? So weightage, one third weightage is given to paper one and two third weightage is given to paper two, right? So we don't really have the cutoffs, exact cutoffs for the phase two, but we have the aggregate cutoff, right? So 85% weightage is given to the phase two and 15% weightage is given to the interviews, right? So we don't really have the exact cutoffs, but we have the aggregate cutoff, right? So uh, for paper one, paper two and interview, right? So uh, there is phase two and phase three, phase two ka exam and phase three ka interviews. We don't have the exact cutoff, but for the phase two, 85% weightage is there for phase two. Okay, we know that. And for interviews, for phase three, which is interview, 15% weightage is there, 15% weightage is there. And this 66 marks, they are out of 66 is out of 100, right? So whatever scores you have obtained, they will be normalized 85% weightage to phase two and 15% to phase three. 
so cutoffs uh, have been reduced from 66 to 62 per 0.34 for general category right so cutoffs have been reduced in last uh, in last one or two years right and one more important thing regarding the age criteria that is for the previous year this year the age criteria uh, it can be different uh, instead of 31st december 2021 it can be 31st december 2022 it is possible highly possible maximum age is 30 years uh, if you are from reserved category some relaxation would be provided to SCST category candidates, five years would be the relaxation. For OBC category candidates, three years would be the relaxation. For uh, educational qualification, you must have uh, you must have either master degree in any discipline, right? MA, MCOM, or bachelor's degree in law, or bachelor degree in engineering, or CA, CFA, CS, or CWA, right? So these are the educational qualifications, right? The syllabus for phase one, paper one in English language, there is reading comprehension, close test, error spotting, double filler, sentence rearrangement, vocabulary based questions. And then in the quantitative aptitude, data interpretation is there, boats and streams, time and work, time, speed and distance, partnerships, mixtures and allegation, ages and averages, profit and loss. And then percentage and in, uh, interest, right? Uh, simple and compound interest problems based on trains, problem based on ages, pipes and cisterns, area and volume and the number series, linear equation, quadratic equation and data sufficiency. This is the syllabus for the quantitative aptitude. For the logical uh, reasoning ability, puzzles and setting arrangement, the most important one, machine input output, syllogisms, they are very important, right? and uh, machine input output order and ranking inequality is very important statements and assumptions statements and conclusion coding decoding very important cause and effect uh, statements and arguments direction sense test and the blood relations this is a syllabus for the reasoning ability uh, syllabus for the ga it's it's little complicated right here uh, you can divide it into three major parts the banking and financial awareness is there, 4 to 5 marks, current affairs like 10 to 12 marks, right? And government schemes like 3, 4 marks. This is the, you know, syllabus for the GA. And then there will be like uh, 2, 3 questions from static portion, right? So this is the syllabus for the general awareness section. So latest updates in the financial market, uh, commercial banks, NBFC, HFCs, latest news, RBI circulars, mergers and acquisitions in banking companies list of obituaries in 2022 2023 recently appointed brand ambassadors of monthly gk digest that we do uh, cabinet ministers government schemes uh, renamed government schemes cities airports international reports or committees gdp growth numbers budget mous heads of various financial institutions and international organizations joint military exercises summits and conferences india's rank in different indices uh, list of important appointments, list of important days with themes, list of MOUs, upcoming sports events, and awards and honors. So this is the uh, basic syllabus for the general awareness session, uh, section, right? So we launch uh, SEBI grade A GK Digest every month. So keep that in, uh, in mind, right? Uh, we'll actually, you know, provide the download link in this YouTube channel only. So stay updated. And the syllabus for the paper two phase one and phase two it's a common syllabus for the accountancy uh, accounting as financial information accounting standard the basic accounting standard with respect to depreciation inventory revenue recognition fixed assets foreign exchange transaction and investments you are not supposed to do all the accounting standards certain accounting standards are there which you are supposed to do cash flow statement fund flow statement financial statement analysis and ratio analysis and then accounting for share capital transactions like bonus shares, right shares, ESOPs and buyback of shares, preparation and presentation of company final accounts. So this is the syllabus for commerce and accounting. And for management, management, its nature, scope, theories of management, it's really important. Uh, planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling, role of a manager, uh, leadership styles, motivation theories, uh, HRD, communication steps in communication types 
verbal non verbal upward downward lateral communication barriers to communication role of it so this is the syllabus for the principles of management right moving forward for the finance let me hide myself uh financial system role of regulatory bodies in financial sector financial markets in india right and the general topics like derivatives development in financial sector financial inclusion alternate source of finance direct and indirect taxes uh, sources of uh, you know revenue for government of india gst finance commission frbm act is really important fiscal policy and then inflation definition trends est uh, estimates consequences and remedial of inflation wpi cpi very important and then for the costing introduction to the cost and management accounting methods of costing single output unit costing job costing batch costing contract costing very important right uh, basics of cost control and analysis standard costing marginal costing budget and budgetary control and then lean system jit it's important uh, we directly copied from the official notification right case and costing 5s uh, tpm is important cellular manufacturing one piece flow production system six sigma uh, bpr is really important process innovation and bpr really important and then companies act see students in the companies act you are not supposed to do all the entire companies act it's it's a lengthy act okay so in the notification uh, you are supposed to do it is mentioned that you are supposed to do chapter 3 4 8 10 11 12 and chapter 27 these are the chapters you are supposed to do uh, there are certain chapters which are very lengthy which are not given in the syllabus but the, still the students they do it right uh, there is a little difference between uh, the syllabus of phase 1 and phase 2 there are more sections in the phase 2 we are going to cover that don't worry in the economic simple demand and supply market structures national income concepts and measurement uh, of national income classical and Keynesian approach of determination of output and employment consumption function investment function multiplier and accelerator demand and supply for money ISLM curve inflation and Philip curve business cycle these are really important balance of payments foreign exchange markets inflation monetary and fiscal policy non-banking financial institutions these are really important in the economics part right and then for the english writing skills there will be three topics essay writing pressy writing and reading comprehension students uh note my uh you know words right now that if nobody is checking your essay if nobody is actually checking or marking your essay there is you know i don't think there is any point of taking any classes or coaching make sure that your teacher is assessing your essays right <clears throat> whatever you are writing uh, most probably uh, essays for essay would be from economics from technology can be abstract or social issues but make sure that you write a lot if you are not writing an essay on a regular basis like two or three essays in a week then it won't be possible for you to write a good essay at the time of the real exam okay so it's very important to have a practice right you should be writing on a regular basis and make sure you have somebody around you who is checking your essays that's really really important right and then syllabus for paper two phase two it is similar to the phase one but there is some there are some differences in the difficulty level so students say be grade a 2023 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com we are providing complete video classes for all the sections complete syllabus coverage live sessions are there doubt clearing sessions are there you can download the notes quizzes are there full length test series and descriptive paper evaluation is also there in case of any doubt you can drop a whatsapp message to 9067201000 this is the personal whatsapp number where you can actually ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts link to the courses is available in the description please check the description and ask your doubts and that's actually all for today list of our successful students in 2021 and 2018 all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams uh, say be grade a exam 
सो इफ देर इज एनी डाउट इन योर माइंड प्लीज आस्क योर डाउट्स एंड वी आर हेयर टू आंसर योर डाउट्स पोस्ट योर कॉमेंट्स इन द इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन और सेंड योर डाउट्स to our whatsapp number we are going to answer all your doubts and that's all for today subscribe the channel and like this video this is really really important for us that's all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye